Well, we'll be experiencing April showers before you know it, which means thunderstorms are in our future. Yeah, but have you ever stopped to wonder how thunderstorms happen? Well, Candace Monticelli is live to show us a cool weather experiment that you can do with the kids to learn more. Hey, Candace. Hey, good morning, guys. So yesterday with our weather experiment, we learned about thunder and how to track a thunderstorm. Now today, we're going to learn how they form. So this one's a little bit harder to see on camera. So I did it yesterday and we'll see some videos of it. But what you need for this is some lukewarm water, a clear container, red food dye, and a little bit of planning to make some blue ice cubes. So definitely do this early this morning. But what you do for this is you get the warm water in your container. The bigger, longer shoebox kind of clear container would work better, but uh, this is what I'm working with. So what you do first, I think we have a picture to show these first couple of steps to put up on your screen as well. You wanna put these blue ice cubes in on one side of your container. Careful because it will dye your fingers blue. So you want to put about four to five blue ice cubes in there and then put only maybe one to two drops of red food coloring on the other side of the container. So I want to turn this so you can try to see it. So what's happening is the blue ice cubes are acting as our cold air in the atmosphere and the red ice cubes are acting as our warm air. So we've all heard the saying, warm air rises. That's what we're demonstrating here as the blue water is undercutting that red water and forcing it up. That's how thunderstorms are then formed in the atmosphere. This is what we like to call convection. So this is how we get those thunderstorms to form. That cold air arrives, arrives it undercuts that warmer air, forces it to move upward, and then it condenses, forms a cloud, and forms a thunderstorm. So as you're doing this with the kids at home, you wanna look really close. It's hard to see here. We have some videos of it from what I showed yesterday, but you'll see that blue air forcing down and undercutting that red food dye. And that's how you get that convection process. And as it mixed together, that's then the formation of your thunderstorm. So pretty cool, but you wanna definitely be seeing this one up close and personal and learn how convection works with that warm, and cooler air. So not bad, just take some uh, pre-planning with the blue ice cube.